All right, today we're gonna learn how to paint a vineyard. All right, what is the oldest bottle of wine ever discovered? All right, let's run through the color. Quinn red, pearly red, primary yellow, cad yellow, red oxide, ultramarine blue, quinn blue, phthalo green, titanium white, Mars black. All right, today we're gonna learn how to paint a vineyard. we kind of put the nice light blue we sketched in the mountains I got a really rough feel of that kind of got some texture in here we got to fill that in get that texture good get the trees laid in here and then start building up the vineyard So the oldest bottle of wine ever discovered is called a rumor vine and it was found in germany in nobleman's house they kind of went through the his uh the remains of his house probably a, a wreck and they discovered this bottle of wine that was still around from 1650 1650 uh, 1650 years ago so <laughs> almost around you know the roman empire times um so it's sealed with kind of olive oil and wax that's kind of a traditional method and obviously over this time frame, the, all the alcohol has dissipated, so it's not gonna be alcoholic at all, so all the flavor's probably gone. Um, it's probably undrinkable. Um, they haven't opened it yet, uh, probably because it's just undrinkable. It's just, you know, it'd be kind of interesting to open and smell it, but that's about it. And it'd probably be very putrid, so it's not a drinkable wine. There are other wines that date maybe a hundred years ago, and sometimes those are drinkable. So once you get to a certain time frame, no matter how careful you are with wine, it's eventually just gonna expire or become undrinkable. One of the older port wines that is drinkable is port wines, they sweeten it and it kind of um, preserves the wine a lot longer. So you could get maybe to the late 1800s, maybe you could drink that wine possibly. Um, but yeah, there's not much wine outside of that. And this one bottle is from 1650, years ago so basically 480 or something and that's the question of the day all right we just finished the paint let's take a closer look so we got this really nice smooth background we got a little bit of a kind of a town on the top of the hill i'm not sure if i like that and we have the really uh, stark contrast of the vineyards up close with a little bit of kind of cad yellow to kind of make that pop a little more uh, with the lime yellow and dark green on the background with these nice kind of lines um, yeah, out of the four I just did, this is probably the least successful. <laughs> Compositionally, it's fine. It just uh, somehow it doesn't pop. Um, I think if I made that town a little more kind of concrete, besides just a couple of lines, maybe that would have made it more interesting. Or maybe I was thinking of putting a fire on there, but then it kind of distracts from the fact that it's a vineyard, right? Um, I'm assuming, you know, if someone's buying a vineyard, they don't want to see the vineyards on fire. <laughs> 
they're probably traumatized from all the California fires burning all vineyards, so I don't think it's necessary. Um, or probably would sell well in the vineyards area. <laughs> but, you know, it was an idea that came to head, right? Uh, well, hopefully you guys like it. Give me a thumbs up. Um, if you'd like to see the full version, check my Patreon account. And if you want to subscribe, you can subscribe below. And I'll see you in the next painting video. Thanks for watching, guys.